Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we would be learning about Zerodha platform. So when you log on to Zerodha's account, this is what you'll see. So on the left hand side, you'll have these uh, watch list. And let's say you want to add a couple of stocks here. So you simply have to go on to this top bar and type in the name. Let's say you wanted to look at Reliance. Just type Reliance and it'll give you all information. Uh, reliance in equity and mutual, you know, in, in future and options. So let's say we're looking at equity right now. So we add reliance here. And you can, you know, even add reliance future and just click outside and you'll see that here. Now, let's say I also wanted to add HDFC bank. So I just have to type HDFC bank and I'll get that option HDFC bank. So just select that. Now, let's say you want to buy HDFC bank. All you got to do is go to HDFC bank, click, um, you know, take the cursor on HDFC bank and it'll give you some options here. So buy and sell. Then if you click here, it'll show you the market depth, uh, you know, the top five buyer and seller price that's available. So let's say if you want to buy, then you need to look at the offer, which is the seller's price. You're looking at, you know, seller offering, you know, this HDFC bank at 1181.3 right now and the buyer wants to buy it at this price so till the time the price does not match the order will not go through and you'll see this price will keep changing because the market is still open right and you'll see open high low close and the previous close all that information you'll get to see here so you can buy and sell here this will give you the market depth right now let's say if you want to buy it all you got to do is click on buy and now it has these options regular cover uh, bracket AMO. We'll we'll talk about all of this later. Let's just stick to very basic right now. So you click on regular, which is normal. Let's see if you want to buy it for long term. So what you do is you click on regular. It'll be selected, and you just need to click on long term. That means you want to uh, hold it for long term, or you want to at least not sell it today. So it's CNC, which is cash and carry, and then you can also go for intraday. Now what intraday would do is it will you know just close this position before the day ends so if you don't want to carry this position you can click on intraday or if you want to you know buy it for long term for your portfolio select long term enter the quantity that you want to buy let's say 100 quantity and here you can specify the price now you can select market order here what it'll do is it'll simply buy whatever price at which hdfc bank is available right it'll simply look at where the sellers is available and it'll, it'll put the order at that price and it'll, it'll buy those quantities for you, right? Now, if you want to specify a price, let's say if, the, if it's trading at uh, 1185 right now, you want to buy it at 1180, right? You can simply click on buy and this order will go to your order book. And then in this order book, this would get executed one, once it comes to 1180. Let's do that. Let's just do this on one quantity only. Okay, you can specify any any quantity here. And whenever the price goes to 1180, it'll get executed. Let, let's uh, put this in. Okay. So once I put this in, it tells me that the HDFC bank order has been placed. Now you go here and order. You would see this here. Now if the price does not come to 1180, this will not get executed because the price is 1190. And what we have done is we have placed a limit order. So there's market order, there's limit order. Market order will give you the price at which the seller is available. Let's say if you're buying and if you're selling, you'll just look at the buyer's price and would buy that for you. Same is the case when you want to sell. Let's say if you want to sell HDFC bank, let's say one quantity at uh, one, once it reaches 1195, you can put this in. Or let's just keep this at 1200, okay? It's a limit price that we're going for. It's a regular normal order and we can even sell it, right? Now this too is in the order book, right? And this will get executed once the price reaches 1200, right? So this is how you can place orders. You can even place order on Reliance Future. Let's say if I want to buy Reliance Future, what you can do is you can look at the chart for Reliance. You can look at the chart and let's say if we are of the opinion that it probably might not go up, right? Then what we can do is we can sell it, right? We can sell it. 
Let's do that. Let's put a selling order here. So what we do is we put a sell order here. It's trading at 2291. Let's say if you want to put the order at 2295. Right? It's a regular order limit. If I put this as market, it will go through at whatever price that is available. But I want to specify a price. Let's say I want to specify 2295. Okay. And here it will also tell me the margin that is required. So it would require 2,93,000 to sell one lot, right? This is what it uh, tells us. So let's just paste this. Now once I... Okay, so I'm gonna change the price. It should be 2,295. Yeah, let's do that, 2,295. Now it should go through. So this is how it's placed. Whenever the price reaches here, it will sell the Reliance October future for us, okay? So for now, what I'll do is I'll just simply cancel it, right? I'll just cancel this, and I'll cancel these two orders too, right? This is a simple way of putting an order, okay? Not Nothing much complicated here, okay? That's how you can put buy and sell orders in the market. So let's understand the other options that we have available. Let's say if I want to buy Reliance, but I also want to add a stop loss to it. Okay, so what we do is I go here, buy. Now this is a, not a regular buy that I want to do. I want to put an order of buy, but I also want to put a stop loss at the same time. So what I'll do here is I'll go to cover because I'm putting a cover order here. So Reliance right now is trading at 2285 right so now what I'll do is I will put a buy order at let's say 228 what is it 85 let's say and tr trigger price would be the stop loss let's say if I don't want to incur a loss of more than five rupees per share so what I can do is I can specify this price here it's a limit order that I want to put in because if I put the market order here this price will get grayed out that means it'll, it'll just buy Reliance at whatever price that it's available. I don't want to do that. I want to specify my own price. So let's do that. I put this at 2285. This order will go through once the price reaches 2285. And the trigger price would be the stop loss because I've selected the cover option here. And it's telling me the margin required in order to do this in one share would be 139. Because my risk here is covered because I'm specifying that in case if it starts to fall, then it'll get, you know, I'll exit this uh, stock at 2280. Let's put this in. I'll put this in. And this is what you'll see here. Both of these are pending because first the buy order will get executed. And, you know, it's very close to the order. It may get executed. In case if it does, then if it starts to fall, then I would get exited at 2280, which is my stop loss. Stop loss is as the name suggests, something that will stop your loss, right? So this is what it does. And once it reaches 2285, you'll see that this would get executed and this position will then start showing up in the position. And this position tab is empty right now because there's no position that has been made as of now. And once it reaches 2285, it'll get executed. If it doesn't, this will get canceled out, right? So we'll wait. Uh, now let's check out the other options that we have. Let's say, Look at, let's do something in HDFC Bank. Let's say we want to buy it. And now let's say we wanted to sell it and we have clicked on buy. You don't have to cancel it. You can simply click here and toggle it. Now it becomes a sell order, right? So orange would mean that you want to sell. Blue screen would mean that you want to buy, right? So let's say we want to sell uh, HDFC Bank, right? Now we want to sell HDFC Bank right now. It's um, highlighted on cover. Let's say we want to do this as well. Let's say we want to sell it at 1196 or 1197. And the trigger price is 1201. Let's say if it goes up, then we'll have a cover order which would stop our loss. So let's do this. Now you have another uh, order here. Once it, and there you go, it has got executed here. And so let's look at this. So it's coming in the position tab now. HDFC Bank, I've sold one share. And this will, uh, you know, this in case if it goes up, then it's going against me. And here, this would get, there you go. 
So what happened here was they started to go up and it hit my stop loss and my stop loss got hit and this is what my loss is. So you can you know put these orders which would actually help you minimize the loss. The order for Reliance is still pending because it has not come down to 2285. In case if this gets executed, our stop loss is here, 2280. Let's go on to our next video and we'll learn about more options that we have.